Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails and Most Pure. Today we're doing the Vulcan Blood. This is another tribute cocktail for Larry Nimoy. Unfortunately, he passed away not long ago, as you may have heard. This is a whole week tribute I'm doing for him. A lot of the cocktails are my own. This is the only one that's not mine. But something that I saw is... One thing about Larry Nimoy, he definitely was a quintessential Vulcan. He kept that motto, or the way he was as far as Vulcan, as far as live long and prosper, his entire life. Every quote, everything he said, live long and prosper. He was the Vulcan. He lives now in the stars. But this is actually a Vulcan blood. It's going to be a lot of flavor to it. It's going to have a little bit of nutty flavor. It's going to have some amaretto. So you're going to have a little bit of almond sweetness. The different notes you're getting from that. You're going to have a lot of citrus flavor. Because this is all citrus. And you get some pineapple. So you get a little bit of tropical. Help get that thickness. But the one concept of this cocktail that I had noticed by reading it is they said that Spock has green blood. Well, Vulcans have green blood. So, you take your blue, a little bit of amaretto, so it's going to get a slight darkness to it, and some yellow from the pineapple juice. You're going to get green. Blue and yellow. Green. So, also if you look at the graphics I have for each episode this week, it's green highlighted. Which means the green blood of the Vulcan. That's why I chose green, if you're ever wondering. But this is the Vulcan blood. I'm definitely been looking forward to making this cocktail ever since the first time I saw it. As I said, this whole week is all my own recipes except for one, which is this one. But this is something I definitely had to include in there because he was a quintessential Vulcan. But I'll show you exactly how this one was made. I'm just going to take an ounce and a half of each of these and a full six ounce can of pineapple juice. This is definitely going to be sweet. I guarantee that. Ounce and a half amaretto. That's going to be a lot of sweetness in there. Obviously, before we do that, I'm going to add some ice to your glass. Add that in there. You want to take an ounce and a half of your blue carousel. Ounce and a half of triple sec. You want to take an ounce and a half of your citron vodka, which I'm really needing to buy some more. I am almost out. Then you add finally six ounces. Of your pineapple juice. So get that nice thick green color to it. And shake it up. One thing about this, it's a lot of liquid. Think about it, you're doing 12 ounces of juice and alcohol and everything together, so it's definitely going to be a lot of stuff put into there. So you want to take that and you want to strain it into your highball glass. There you have it. The Vulcan Blood. It's a tribute to Leonard Nimoy. Definitely going to have a lot of flavor to it. You're going to have the nutty almond sweetness of the amaretto. You can have a ton of citrus flavor. It's a 
see exactly how it tastes. Ooh. That's actually really good. It's surprising how well the almond flavor of the amaretto blends with the pineapple juice. It just adds like a whole unique set of flavor to it. Obviously, you're getting a lot of citrus in there because you're adding the blue curacao, the triple sec, and you're also adding the citron vodka. So the citrus is definitely prevalent in this whole cocktail. But just the flavor of the amaretto and the pineapple juice... It just blends so well. And you're getting that slight bite of the of the citrus. It's actually really, really good. It definitely has that green color. As I said, the Vulcan blood is green. So it definitely has that green color to it. A little bit of thickness. Kind of get an idea of like blood. Mm. But it's just so good. It definitely has a lot of tropical aspects to it. I mean, that pineapple juice is going to have some tropical aspects, but it's just the way everything blends together it kind of gives you that more of a tropical flavor to it. But it's just it's just so good. I mean, just so much flavor to that. But it's just the way the flavor of the amaretto and the pineapple juice it kind of takes it two and makes it one new flavor. It's hard to describe exactly what you're tasting. You're getting a lot of the, the nuttiness. Of the amaretto, you are getting a lot of the pineapple juice, the tartness of that. The citrus kind of blends in, it's more for color or such, but. It's definitely a unique flavor, but it's very, very good. I definitely suggest you try this one out. If you haven't already, try it. It's a perfect uh, Larry Nimoy cocktail. It's definitely good for Spock and Star Trek, whatever you want to do. It's good. It's flavorful. I definitely suggest you try this one out. Be sure to check out the other ones we had this past week. And also be sure to check out for Friday because we're doing a shooter. It's definitely going to be unique. It's going to be a little bit bitter. It's going to be a little bit sweet. And it's definitely going to be sour. It's the salt in your taste buds, but it tastes really good. I'm definitely looking forward to that one and showing it to you. I hope you like this cocktail. Be sure to like us on Facebook on Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. As always, drink responsibly.